a couple of things to do with the new improvement, we'll say. We have a cell here, two coil cell, which is running at uh, 13 volts, uh, 2 milliamps. Now I wanted to show you the activity. I was, because I'm running at 13 volts, it's not producing as much gas as the other cells. But I want you to be able to see this and see how this gas, if you see it's coming out and spinning both left and right, circling back around and it looks like it's dissolving back into the water. Here's a very good example of the operation. You should be able to see that quite clearly. And we have our typical accumulation along the edge. But you can see it spews out all of the gas because of the polarizations moving to the center of that small coil coming out the top just like a funnel spewing out forming these vortices and going back in. Very strange indeed. Anyway, this one's running 13 volts, 2 mils. I won't bother to uh, move the camera down and show you that. You'll have to take my word for it. Uh, but I will be showing another video on this same cell here shortly and show you the difference in activity as we bring the voltage up again. So there you go. Uh, Quite interesting how that how that circulates and how that gas comes out goes back in and and just seems to uh, disappear again. Okay, anyway, I decided I would sit down here <laughs> and show you this cell uh, uh, from the side. This is the one that we just completed showing you the circulation on the top of the water, the gas, and it's very hard to get in here to where you can see it. But you can see how the gas is being liberated from the wire. And if you see here, I don't want to mess up the, the focus, but you can see they're all being pulled into the center of that coil. You can even see how it's shaped up here. You see that it's pulled in. And down here it's very evident uh, there isn't as, there's more gas up here obviously. Down here you can really see how it's pulled into the center of the coil. And this one again is running at 13 volts, uh, 2 milliamps. Now, really and truly 2 milliamps is quite a, quite an accomplishment. Uh, but and that's not the point. Uh, I'm still trying to understand the dynamics of this cell and exactly what's going on here. I have one more test I'm going to do with this, which uh, which is quite interesting. I want to show you something about the gas.